So something I've seen a lot of uh, first time filmmakers and people just starting out having a, having a play with storytelling is they end up doing a lot through dialogue. And it's a real shame because filmmaking is a visual medium and there's so many things that you can do to tell a story visually. So here are my top three ways to tell stories with pictures. First, before I properly dive into it, I have a definition of storytelling that I have been using for a little while. I'll come back to it. I'll probably make a whole video about it sometime. And my storytelling recipe consists of change and empathy. Basically, I think that to have a story, you need to have characters or a character that you can empathize with and something needs to change. And you need to empathize with the character across that change. The classic example is the king died and the queen died is not a story, but the king died and the queen died of a broken heart. Bingo, you got yourself a story. So when thinking about storytelling, I always come back to these things. So first thing you can do to tell a story visually, cut to a close up that reveals new information. This is just essentially visual exposition. Give your audience something new, some new bit of information that they didn't know before. This inherently ticks the change box because it's showing your audience something that they didn't know. It can also tick the empathy box if your audience connects it to a character and a character's emotion. So I do this kind of thing of cutting to close-ups to reveal new information all the heck in time. Here are some examples. That's all you did. But cutting to a new shot can be really effective in visual storytelling even when you're not giving new expositional information. For example, cutting to a point of view shot implies that we've gone into a character's head and cutting into a close-up implies a greater level of importance and gets the audience feeling just a little bit more empathy. On top of that, I'd like to sort of put in a point to B, which is that when you cut to a new shot that doesn't necessarily give new information, it can be metaphorically resonant. For example, this shot in Bounce Back shows how the character is feeling trapped. This is new, so that's both change and empathy because we're understanding a little better how trapped he actually feels. This shot in Better Than You with the reflection also metaphorically resonant, visual storytelling, hell yeah. The third way is one that I do not use enough because it is very cool and very useful and I just don't think about it. So I, I should probably make like a, a learning film with this in mind at some point, which is change of color. You can see me using this if you go back to the docs where some sections are in black and white and some are in color. That kind of implies the past and the present uh, and the difference between those, which kind of gets at the change thing, but it's not really used to increase the empathy. The one time where I feel like I've used it really effectively is in For Milo, where the color grade changes from this lovely, warm, inviting kind of uh, almost romantic looking thing to cold, blue, harsh, very kind of unpleasant. Um, and I say that I did this, I can't take credit because this idea was given to me by Mitch, who was the DOP and edited and graded uh, for Milo. So not even my directorial idea. I really need to give this a go in another film sometime. So there we go, three ideas for visual storytelling. If you like this video, feel free to click subscribe. Uh, I will leave a playlist for some of my films so you can see that I know what I'm actually talking about. I think that's all the mandatory end screen things done. So hasta luego, I will see you when I see you.